one of the most amazing traditions of generosity to be found anywhere. Hospitality in an inhospitable place. It's a culinary adventure in the Kingdom of Jordan. comforts of home and venturing among strangers was not done easily. When resources were scarce, visitors were often unwelcome. But not here in the deserts of Jordan. Here, ancient tribal ways guarantee a gracious welcome. And speaking of hospitality, I've actually stumbled onto a local cooking school where I've been invited to come and learn how to make the national dish of Jordan. Hello. How are you, Chef Michael? Welcome to Petra Kitchen. Thank you for your invitation. You're welcome. I eat. Yes. yes. Before I arrived, I read up on Jordanian cooking and discovered a traditional dish served to honor guests, mansif, a whole lamb simmered in broth flavored with yogurt. I've yes. never seen yogurt in this form before. This is to me. Jameed. Jameed. This yeah. is dried yogurt. Yeah. Jameed. I just put it, I suppose the cloth will yeah. collect the pieces and just bang it, eh? <laughs> it's pretty hard, isn't it? <laughs> that didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, I've never even heard of this before, let alone seen it. Perfect sense to me, though, that you would evolve a way of preserving yogurt for long-term storage in a desert environment. This is one of the best things about traveling, is discovering new ingredients like this. I thought something this hard would actually take hours or even overnight to rehydrate, but it's actually happening very quickly. We serve mensa in the wedding party, and you have to make the same as this quantity for 50 times. 50 times? So um, you would do this for days? Yes, of course. This isn't something we see every day. The head, yes. This is showing the generosity of the host for the guests. We have sacrificed an entire lamb exactly. for you, our exactly. guest. Yes, exactly, yes. He's having a bad day. <laughs> In essence, the lamb is now braising, which means it will take some time to tenderize to reach its full potential. As a guest in Jordan, it's a real honor to be served mansa. As a chef in Jordan, it's a real honor to learn how to make it. It's also a real honor to meet a member of the royal family. Michael, welcome, welcome Thank to you. Petra. It has been a dream of mine all my life to visit Petra. This is one of the seven wonders of the world. Yes, yes, it's really a magical place. Eh? And who would have actually carved this? The Nabataeans. The Nabataeans were the, the people who, who lived in, in Petra and built all the monuments in Petra. I've seen many things, but never anything like this. A mysterious place, you know. Indeed. Okay. Now, I must admit, I've never actually met a prince before, and I sort of expected bodyguards and caravans of cars and red ropes and carpets. We believe uh, modesty is the best policy, you know. If God forbid we were like that, we would not be connected uh, with our people, you know. May I share some words with you? Yes, yeah, sure, please. This is a quote from King Hussein. Uh -huh. okay. I believe with all my heart that if a man is to give of his best, he must live the fundamental life of an ordinary man. To me, that speaks to hospitality. Mm -hmm. what, what do those words mean to you? In Jordan, uh, hospitality, it's something that's inbred within us from a very young age. So we have this saying in Arabic, jar uh, gablet dar, meaning the, your neighbor before yourself. Even if you have hardly any food in your house and a guest walks into your house, you have to give the guest whatever you have even if it means that your children go hungry. So it's the gesture. The gesture is really what, uh, what is important. Uh, 
I'm learning how to make the mansif. It's That's fascinating. That's wonderful. Eh? You'll be a true Jordanian. Thank you. <laughs> May good. I invite you to join us oh, for dinner? Oh, my goodness. It'll be an honor for me to eat mansif with you. Your Highness, thank you so much. Yes. I've really enjoyed meeting you. I look very much forward to the invitation this evening. And sharing the mansif. Oh, thank you so much. I'll, I'll make sure to have a light uh, lunch. Uh, and I'll make sure to get it cooked properly. <laughs> oh, wonderful. See you I'm excited evening. to be learning about the mansif, but I have to admit, I'm a bit intimidated to be sharing it with a prince. And there's thousands of years of tradition in this dish. Cooks have been making it forever, and I guess I want to show respect to all of them. I want it to be fit for a prince. Getting ready to finish? Yep. I hope you don't mind. I invited the prince to dinner. Oh, it's my great pleasure. It's very good. Once the lamb is tender, it's always served on a bed of saffron-scented rice layered on shirak, a flatbread. It's then sprinkled with parsley and toasted nuts. How does it feel to be making this dish? Great. Great it... honor. Yeah. Great honor to make because you make it for your guests. <laughs> yeah, special day. Special day, yes. Okay. So part of the hospitality here is this needs to look bountiful. There needs to exactly. look like a lot yeah, of food. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just set it in the middle? Just set it in the middle and put it up. Up? Like, Looking up? Yeah. I've cooked lamb a thousand different ways, <laughs> but nothing yeah. ever of even course, close to this. there's different ways to cook lamb. Mm. Wow. <laughs> and of course, almonds and pine nuts, these are all ingredients from the region. You know, mensaf without this stuff is not mensaf. I have to say this is one of the most unique aromas I've ever smelled in any kitchen. The only thing missing here is a fork. We're not allowed to use the fork in the mensaf. Really? We should, yes, we should eat in our hand. Really? Yep. Okay. Yes, that's that's how the way we. This is amazing. It. Every step of the way, I'm learning something new. Every step of the way, truly. <laughs> the preparation and presentation of the mansif is very traditional, and I understand that the way it's eaten is as well, especially in the presence of a prince. Now I understand there's a there's a very specific way that we eat this too. Where there's there's obviously no forks or knives yes, here. Of course, it's you have to eat with your right hand. Right hand. Yeah, yeah, right hand. Try to make a, a, a little bowl. a little ball out of the rice. Mm. Pop it in, throw it in without <laughs> putting your fingers in. So don't touch mm. your mouth. No. Mm -hmm. And only the left hand mm -hmm. with three fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the right hand. Right hand. And the, the right hand. Right hand. Yeah. Your Highness, mm -hmm. the, the traditions behind the way we eat this. Mm -hmm. Is there some uh, reason for them? It's a bonding experience, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that you you eat from the same plate and you eat the, the same food. It's the ultimate show of generosity and uh, hospitality. Yeah, hospitality yeah. Also. Thank you. I hope you like it, uh, Michael. How was it, Mike? I have to admit, as we were cooking this today, I had my doubts as to whether I would enjoy this or not. <laughs> but now that I'm eating this, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. I really do like it. I think part of the reason I like it so much is because the yogurt has a natural tanginess to it. Mm -hmm. And that tanginess really helps balance the richness of the meat flavor. Yes, How many times I've told my son, take your hands out of the food. You, 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 you can't do it. <laughs> if he saw his dad right now doing this, I think he'd be pretty excited. He'd fit right in here. It's what makes us Jordanian, you know, this, uh, having these traditions. This is a tradition that should never be lost. Mm -hmm. And now that I know how the mansif is prepared and how it's served and how it's eaten, what I'm most curious about are the origins. I do know that they lie somewhere in the deserts of Jordan. Jordan, I've discovered something that's going to stay with me for a very long time. It really doesn't matter where you are. There's a little bit of hospitality in all of us, and food is often the very best way to find it. From a royal prince to a humble Bedouin to a hungry traveler.